We're being asked to find the equation of the hyperbola with the given foci and vertices. Let's go ahead and do it. Solution. We'll start by drawing a picture. So there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. So x and y. Let's go ahead and plot the vertices. So negative 4 comma 0 is one of the vertices. So that's negative 4. And then here's the other one, which is at 4. Right, my picture needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So there's negative 4 and there's 4. All right, that means the center is 0, 0, because it's right in the middle. So the center is 0, 0. And the vertices lie on the hyperbola. That means the hyperbola must open left and right. So it looks like this. Now the distance from the center to the vertex is a. So in this case, a is equal to 4. So a is equal to 4. And the foci are here and here. My picture is not drawn to scale. So that's 9 and that's negative 9. And the distance from the center to one of the foci is c. So c is equal to 9 in this problem. So c equals 9. So we have a, we have c, we just need to find b. So we can use the equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The trick to remember this formula is that in, in a hyperbola, you have a minus sign. So here it's just the opposite. So c squared is 81 because 9 squared is 81. a squared is 16. And then we have plus b squared. We'll subtract 16 from both sides. And so 81 minus 16 ends up being 65. And that's our b squared. To finish, we'll write down the formula for a hyperbola. So the formula for a hyperbola that opens left and right is x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. The center here is 0, 0, so h and k are both 0. a was 4, so a squared is 16. So we end up with x squared over 16 minus y squared over 65, and this is equal to 1. And that is the final answer.